Today I would like to take you with me onto a journey to a little hidden gem just outside of Florence. It's a little watermill hidden in the woods just in the hills of Scandici. Not many people know about it, the little Mulinaccio of Scandici. You need to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who's told you about that. Only then you will be able to find that magic place. To reach it, you will have to follow the big streets first, then go on to the smaller roads, the country roads and little winding pathways through the vineyards and olive groves. At some point the street will end and you have to abandon the car by the side of the road and continue by foot. The little watermill is embedded in the rolling hills and suddenly, when you least expect it, you have to go down into a steep valley. The first time I saw the watermill, I was taken by its beauty. The play of light falling through the leaves, falling onto the water, the water reflecting back onto the walls of the mill, and the sounds of nature surrounding me, the birds singing and the water dribbling down. It was a, such a peaceful impression I got. So despite everything else going on in the world, Sometimes you find these little islands of peacefulness, of ease, of sublimity. And for me as a painter, obviously it attracts me immediately. Those are the moments and the places that things are starting to make sense and the chaos takes a break and you feel at rest. In this painting, as for most of my works, it's not so much about the finished product it's about the journey that I take in order to get there. Playing with the colors, playing with the impression of light. Tracking down what is happening in nature and having the chance to be in the moment and to consciously observe what nature is doing. Obviously I will never reach the standards that nature provides, but just trying to follow its tracks, following what I see with my eyes and trying to reproduce it with my hand in order to also share it with the world out there is for me why I became a painter. The Mulinaccio was built by the nearby Galli family in the 1600s. First as a dam to create a lake for fish farm, then later on as the Mulinaccio, meaning the mill for grinding the grain into flour. Nowadays it's in bad shape and in full decay, but it also has its own beauty. My teacher back when I was a student, Maureen Hyde, she often told me, there's a crack, a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. She recited Leonard Cohen and his anthem. And I fully agree with her, there is a beauty in everything, even if it's in full decay. Despite that thought of mine, I would still hope that it will be maintained to the state that it will last a little bit longer for us to enjoy. <laughs>